Hey, what's up? This is Jackson from Windows Phone Hacker, and I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of the new folders application. Um, so, first things first, this application has a is one single application that will detect if your phone has root privileges enabled on it, and if that is the case, then it will go ahead and uh, switch over to using the root version of it, or if you don't, then it will just use the basic marketplace search uh, lookup mechanism. So just to demonstrate what this will look like if your device does not have root privileges or if you forget to enable root privileges on your device if you use uh, root tools, for example, to uh, create trusted applications, uh, it'll look a little something like this. Basically, uh, when you go to add a folder, you can go ahead and type the folder name. Let's do test. And uh, here's a blank folder. You can go ahead and add applications to it. You'll have to do the regular marketplace lookup. But as changed from previous versions, the marketplace lookup actually searches uh, other marketplaces. So you can go ahead and search for Drive, for example. And there's Nokia Drive over from the uh, Nokia marketplace, which is nice. You can also search for, for example, I think Compass uh, has one for, from HTC. Um, I wouldn't know what it would be called, uh, but what if I just search for HTC? Let's try that. And there we have like HTC Hub, Notes, Compass, etc. Uh, that can be added in. And these are fully working and can be added into folders as you would expect them to. So that's nice because a lot of people in the previous versions had issues with OEM marketplaces and not being able to uh, add applications from OEM marketplaces. Um, so that should be fixed now. Uh, I'm not sure if all OEM marketplaces are supported, but the major uh, Samsung, HTC, and Nokia should be working in there. Um, also, you can go ahead and add system applications, and here's a list of all the system applications that I have uh, added into this. For example, I'll add messaging, and then I can just go ahead and press pen, and it goes over and puts it on my start screen, as you would expect it. Also, just as a cute little change, the uh, the folders now have the little tilt effect. You can't, well, I guess you can see that uh, when you tap on them, which looks a lot more like the start menu. Uh, so it just it just looks better. It really, it's functionally the same, but I thought that was sort of a nice change. I thought I'd point that out. Now, if you have a device that is either rooted or you can give applications root privileges through uh, Windows Phone 7 root tools, for example, um, the app folders application will look pretty much the same, uh, except... Uh, when you go to add a folder, uh, you'll be greeted with the start menu like list uh, similar to the previous folders root application. Uh, there are a couple of nice changes here. For example, this list is now sorted which uh, alphabetically, which makes it a lot easier to figure out what you're looking for. And uh, I'll just give you a demonstration. I'll add in uh, just a couple of applications here. And uh, as usual, you can pin it, save it, or now there's also a feature to add it to the app list, which I'll show you in just a second. And if you were to pin this, it would uh, basically um, it would look exactly the same as the uh, non-rooted version, in the sense that you know the app list is the same. You have the cool little tilt effect, and then of course tapping on the application will load up the application as expected. Now, aside from several bug fixes in the app list and adding applications and all that, uh, there's also one little experimental feature that I added in here. And I'll just show you that real quick. So we'll go ahead and add a couple of homebrew applications into this folder. Um, and I can go over and hit Add to App List. And uh, tapping that should run a little install uh, operation in the background. If I go over into my applications list, there is now a uh, application here called Homebrew. If I tap on Homebrew, then it takes me directly into that uh, folder that I just created. And from there, I can then uh, tap on applications and launch them as you would expect it. So that's sort of an experimental feature. If people use that, I'll be sure to improve it, make it a, make it a little bit prettier and stuff. But I'm just sort of curious as to whether or not people want uh, folders in their app list rather than on their start screen. So that's sort of cool. And that's basically the gist of the new folders application. It's mostly a bunch of bug fixes, a couple new features, and 
uh, a lot of just sort of cleaning up some things that didn't quite work in the original version. So if you like this, be sure to let me know. Uh, you know, give me some comments on what you would like to see changed. I'll see if I can work on that. And other than that, uh, thanks for watching the video, and be sure to check us out at windowsphonehacker.com.